was pretty normal. I lived in the greatest place ever, Brooklyn. Represent, had two cool parents and loved all things science and superheroes. Everything changed though, when my dad was killed in the city hall bombing. I, I couldn't believe he was gone, but Peter Parker and his Aunt May, they were there for me. And so was Spider-Man, who I later found out was Pete. Crazy, right? Then when the Devil's Breath crisis started, things got intense. It seemed like all of Spidey's villains were on the loose. I managed to do my part to help him out. And after all that, believe it or not, a spider bit me. And I started to change. I didn't want to worry my mom, so I went to Pete. And now, we're officially Spider Bros. He's been training me up, and I'm actually getting pretty good with this whole web swinging thing. I'm still learning to juggle this responsibility with everything else in my life. School, friends, a new home. I moved to Harlem a few weeks back. But I'll tell you, I can't wait to see what the future holds. Escape. Weapons discharged amid rush hour traffic. Thank heaven no lies. But we can't be that lucky every time. What if this can happen a few days later? During the so-called storm of the century, the five o'clock news won't stop jabbering about it. From oh, football league. I mentioned to Finn one time I was into soccer and she went all impossible mission to steal this from an exhibition match for me. She'd do anything for her friends. Out when we get a time capsule in this cave, the place still gives me the creeps. Great. Mom made this pique hot sauce for Finn's birthday. Abuela's recipe, I think. Finn put it on everything. Always said, if it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. one of these pipes. Can't remember which one. There we go. One summer, we got way into space travel and started freeze drying our favorite foods. Bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Total fail. Red bean ice cream was not bad, though.
head off, spider kid. Spider. You'll figure this off. Oh, Excuse me. Was our Everest back in the day. We were so pumped when we finally made it to the top. Awesome. We always wonder what stuff like Thor's hammer was made of and invented our own imaginary elements to explain it. Finn's names always sounded the best. Spotted a break in. See you trying to break in again. Yeah. Yeah, that sounded good. Ghost. I told you the site was haunted. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Parts from the first PC we built. I used it for gaming. Finn used it to help an ESU Alzheimer's research team. Both good uses, I'd say. in the Underground's attack on Roxxon Plaza, physically or emotionally. Please, please get help. Man, we flew down the street after we tricked out these skates with compressed air boosters. Neighbors started calling us the little geniuses after that. All that attention felt kind of weird and kind of cool.
Can you like you Spider-Man? I'm just saying. High line wasn't this nice when we hit a capsule in the wall here. Yeah, time flies. Concert tickets. Finn convinced me to go with her. I went ready to hate it and wound up buying three CDs and a T-shirt. Dazzler and Lila Cheney for life. Hanukkah's the best. Time capsule should be out on those pylons. <laughs> we gave copies of our keys to each other so we could hang out more. Ended up just hiding messages in each other's rooms. Lima was fearless hopping off those back in the day. Summer skating here. Should come back more often. Bingo. After we won that science enterprise, Finn got way into space exploration. Dreamed up this moon transport. She wanted to reinvent the whole world. Swerving like crazy. Hit some. No way in hell. Even worse, someone. Gotta will. stop this. Whoa! Faster than it looked. Like that, kid. 
Maybe that'll teach you to stay in your lane. Seeing it in the Olympics, Finn got crazy good at table tennis in like a week. Her spin game was unreal. Could put the ball wherever she wanted. Girl is agile as heck. Spider-Man coming back. Get a time capsule under that fountain when it was first installed. It's been so long, now they're doing repairs on it. I think I can use that hoist to move the fountain. Go, oh, levitating fountain trick. Voila. Finn loved these scratch art pads. Said it reminded her that no matter what something looked like on the surface, there was always more going on underneath. Underground and walks on are fighting near innocent people. People will get hurt if I don't stop that shootout. Guys, guys, guys. How about we all agree you're both wrong? Soldiers from the future, or is it just a happy accident? You've got nothing, Spider! You are not! This time I'm away, Grace! 
everybody. Bystanders are safe. Time to head out. Nailed it. Finn upgraded her swim goggles with sonar and a heads-up display. She never could stand losing to anyone. Especially me. Confused. Today I have the honor of welcoming Roxxon Energy. Shops all boarded up. Sad to see it like this. I should find a low-profile way in. I want to draw attention. <clears throat> Hello? Man, this place is dusty. No one's been here in a while. Rick's ESU textbooks. He took night classes so he could keep running the shop during the day. Guy was unstoppable. Someone left the lights on. Rock saw an ID for Ella Sterling. But the photo is of Finn. Finn was working with someone to break into Roxxon. The team that created New Form all got sick. Wait, Rick was project lead? Kind of meds. GCSF. Used for treating bone marrow decay. Whose was this? Nothing in here's been touched for at least six months. Must be more hiding somewhere. Three generations of Masons have owned this shop. Rick almost sold it when their parents died. I think it was Finn who convinced them not to.
Someone bricked this up recently. Okay, this is a secret room. Finn must have designed all the underground's gear. Funny how we both started wearing masks. Rick never went anywhere without these. Video file from six months ago. Running a test upload. <coughs> Half my team is sick, but Krieger still want him in his new form. We need to do this tonight. Let me. You sure we're ready? We have to be. They broke ground in Harlem today, ahead of schedule. Poisoning the city to make a buck. They keep cutting corners, ignoring safety reports. I can't let them pervert my work like this, Finn. Okay, first we flush the core. Then we wipe all data. You're sure they can't just make more of this stuff? No. No, as long as we take out the backup supply in Jersey, too. But without me, they'll have no idea how new form works. Project could be DOA. I'll record us. Things go wrong, video uploads straight to the bugle. Perfect. You ready to save New York? Ready. There's a second video. <sighs> Damn it. No uploads. Phone must have been damaged. <sighs> I won't let tonight be for nothing. trying to shut the new form project down. But something went wrong. The last known location of her phone. If I can track it. Okay. Come on, come on. Be invisible, be invisible. Come on. He's here! Fuck. Straight up vanishing really freak these guys out. If I wait for the snipers to calm down, I can take them out from above. Must have tripped a silent alarm or something. Friends joining the fun. These guys are still on high alert. Gotta let them chill before I can get the drop on them. You can't beat all of us! Not alone! 
Close call. Don't hesitate. Kill it. Melissa, you there? Melissa? Someone check Daddy in on her. Okay, I'm on it. to that computer. If I can find Finn's phone, maybe I can understand what happened to Rick and why she became the tinkerer. There, got a location. Genki, fill them in. Thieves are targeting Harlem businesses. Thieves are targeting Harlem businesses. Might be the same guys who went at the tails. I should call Genki. Fill him in. Hey, did you find any? Spider-Man, hey. I'm Caleb. Good to meet you. Saw your mural at Teo's. Oh, that's the other guy. But I'm still here to help. <sighs> Every business on this block's had inventory stolen over the last few weeks. Paper products, kits, sanitizers. We're all local. We can't swallow a loss like that. Did you report it? Sure, but no one's taking us seriously. Camila, she runs the restaurant next door. Decided to look into it herself. Went down to the shipping center that supplies all of us. I'll meet her there, see if I can help. Thanks, Spider-Man. Good to have you looking out for us. Hey, Genki. 
I'm looking into some robberies on Harlem's main strips. Caleb's clean cuts and Pana Fuerte. Oh, I love Pana Fuerte. Did you try the arepas? I can't eat before I do intense superheroing. It's kind of like pool rules. Right, totally. So, what's the plan? Track down the stolen inventory, find out who did it, see if it's connected to the guys who robbed Tails Bodega. Sounds good. I'm on call for tech, map, and thinking through problem support. That's the shipping center that supplies Caleb's block. Cops? What's going on? Witness said a woman was stuffed in a trunk after arguing with some ex-con types. We got an ID? From an Oscorp cam. Camilla Vasquez owns Pana Fuerte in Harlem. Oh my god. They kidnapped Camila. I had to try and find her. But cops won't like me interfering. Maybe if I get a look at the clues. Stay back. This is a secure crime scene. Anything should up? Hard to tell what's important and what's trash. Robberies were reported up north by a guy named Caleb Ward. Could be connected. There's always something wrong up there, though. We need to get that guy to move. Yes. Now I can get a look at that clue. We're always short staff around the holidays. Jacket from David's complete auto repair. Someone dropped it when they peeled out. Hey, you know where I could find David's complete auto repair? There's 12 of them in Manhattan. Need to narrow it down. Camila definitely fought back. We need to figure out where they took her. Parking garage receipt. Chinatown. Is there a David's complete auto repair in Chinatown? Yep. Sending you the address. Chinatown. A woman matching our Vic's description. Lean in an alley. Let's move! Hey, Spider-Man. Any leads on our inventory? Yeah. The guys who stole it? I think Camila caught them in the act. They kidnapped her. What? You're sure? Positive. I'm on my way to help her. <sighs> Good thing you came by when you did, Spider-Man. Thank you.
get that trunk open. Are you okay, ma'am? Spider-Man, I, I, I didn't expect you to. But those men... It's okay now. You're safe. They... Those men were paid to steal our inventory. Drive us out of business. They're holding it at the docks on FDR. Near the bridge. I'll get your stuff back. Do you need help getting home? No, no, no. I can call a cab. Gracias. You saved my life, sir. Genki! Camila's safe. She caught those guys stealing inventory. Said someone paid them to do it. About that. I did some digging. Someone anonymously filed a request with the city to use eminent domain powers and condemn Camila and Caleb's block. Has to be the guy paying our criminals, right? So he can move in? Totally. I put in a counter request asking for an investigation into whoever's trying to buy the land. Dude, you're a genius. I'm headed to the docks to get the supplies back. Call you soon. Crates. Crates. More crates. Where'd they hide the supplies? Bet those guys know. If I listen in, I can figure out which crate to open. What do you think he's gonna build on the land? Apartments, maybe. Office space? Gonna run drugs out of them? Probably. Good way to make money quick. Not in my neighborhood, it's not. What are you planning to do with that stuff? Barber shears? Napkin holders? Probably dump it. You can get started if you want. Green crate with the white star. Got it. Now I can take these guys down. Spider-Man. 
You afraid? Someone stop him! Have to see him! Taking the shot! I'll keep the NS! Harlem 1. Alpha guy is working for a mystery boss. Zero. Now to find the goods. Green container, white star. Got it. And now to get that inventory out of the crate. Gave you rocket launchers? This guy's serious. Get out of here while you can, kid. Not letting you guys run a bunch of nice people out of business. Don't let them get those supplies. Where are you? This way you gotta shut down a barber shop. We need those. with this yo watch my back This is it. All the stolen supplies. Hey, Caleb. Found your inventory. Bring a few trucks down to the docks, and I hope you move it back. We were ready to file for bankruptcy. We're back on our feet. Thank you. A thousand times. Thank you. You ever need a haircut, drop by. It's on the house. Uh, how would that work with the mask? I've seen stranger. 
Oye, you need food too. You're a growing boy. Mira, come by Pana Fuerte anytime. We'll wrap up something nice for you, okay? Appreciate it, both of you. Everyone on the block feels the same. Done is good, Spider-Man. on our mystery guy? Yeah, I'm working on a short list. So far I've got Vulture, Scorpion, Tombstone. Don't think Electro could pull off something like this. That's a lot of big names. But we'll deal. I want him out of our neighborhood. Aw, it's the first time you've called it ours. Don't make it weird. Too late. Peace North is shut down. Damn, way too cold for people to be out on the street. go as Miles. Figure out what's going on at Feast. Hey, Genki. I'm gonna talk to Gloria about Feast. As me, not Spider-Man. Undercover by not being under... Hey, Gloria. What's going on? Why is everyone outside? A pipe burst. We cleaned it up, but the city won't let us reopen till the plumbing's fixed. I've had it repaired three times, but it keeps breaking down. Can you send people to other fee shelters? They're at capacity. Everyone here, they've got nowhere else to go. We're trying to keep people warm and fed. But in this weather... Anything I can do to help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on the people camped in the park? They don't always open up to management. Happy to. Then get back to your vacation. You work too hard. Yeah, yeah. I need to figure out what happened with the water. Maybe someone here knows. Fine, and I've got a nice warm apartment to go back to. I'll get that. Thank you. I'm Steph, Gloria's girlfriend. I'm volunteering at Feast. Or what's left of it. Yeah. Gloria said the city won't reopen the building. They're being unusually stubborn. And they showed up so fast to condemn us, less than an hour after the flood. Uh, I sound like I should be wearing a, a tinfoil hat, huh? No, that's weird. Well, listen, thanks for your help. Okay, suspicious. I should keep talking to people. Maybe I can fix this.
Yeah, well, if you set it down in the snow... <clears throat> Here. I got you. Thanks, man. I'm trying to keep this stuff dry. I was so worried we'd get robbed, and then the flood happened. I even bought a knife. Why did you think that? Got some guys casing the place. Chased them off, but they just came back. Then they up and disappeared right before the flood. Huh. Well, let me know if you need anything else. Be careful with that knife. Can do. Thanks. You didn't tell me that about us getting cased. Hey there. Did I overhear you talking about someone from the city? Yeah. About a month ago. Shelter put in a new water heater. Inspector came by. He said we were in good shape. Then all this went down. Yeah. You'd think he'd catch that. I gotta run. Stay warm. You too. Hey, you busy? Working on Speed Nonagon. What'd you find? Guys were casing feasts right before it flooded. The city swooped in like suspiciously fast to condemn the building. And an inspector said the pipes were fine right before one burst. You think sabotage? Definitely. I need to change into my suit. I was at the other shelter for a while. It's a lot bigger, but I like how cozy this one is. Oh yeah, I've heard about that.